Now, just a few hours ago at the nation's top office, President Park Geun-hye held bilateral talks with her Greek counterpart in Seoul, during which the two leaders agreed to further boost their cooperation, particularly in the economic sector. Our presidential office correspondent, Oh jin has the details. President Park Geun-hye and visiting Greek President Karolos Papoulias mainly focused on expanding the two countries' economic cooperation during their summit talks on Tuesday afternoon. President Park called on the Greek government to quickly ratify the Korea-EU free trade agreement, which provisionally took effect in July 2011. But final ratification requires each EU member country to ratify the trade pact respectively. The trade deal is currently awaiting approval from six EU nations, Belgium, France, Greece, Italy, Sweden and Finland. The two leaders also agreed to strengthen the cooperation in the shipbuilding sector. Greece is Korea's largest export market for vessels. Over the past four years, ship orders from Greece have accounted for a quarter of the total ship orders received by Korea. And in 2012, out of the $1.9 billion in total Korean exports to Greece, more than 80 percent were outbound shipments of vessels. President Park also asked the Greek president to support Korean companies hoping to take part in transportation infrastructure projects in Greece. With this year marking the 60th anniversary of the Korean Armistice Agreement, President Park thanked Greece for sending some 10,000 troops annually during the war, and the two leaders promised to continue cooperating on security issues on the Korean Peninsula. Oh Jin-ju, Arirang News.